Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make some falling text basically. So let's have a look at it. So the way that I've made this happen is that I have broken out all of these letters into a list of well, just list elements. And if I refresh this page, this is the effect that you will see where it looks like the text is just sequentially falling into view and just resting like that. And that's, yeah, that's the whole animation. So let's go through it. So first and foremost, we have some basic stylings for the UL, like just to center it and no list style because, hey, we don't want to have a bunch of dots. And then we have this little show class here that, well, let's walk through that later, but just to look at the DOM structure here. So all the letters that are going to just fade are, you know, they will have a show class that I simply apply and then we have the spaced letters as well which is just going to be the letters that start a new word in the sentence so that there's some as you can see that little green piece there there's a bit of a more like a, just a bit of padding so it looks like each word has has an empty space in between because without that it's going to look very weird where like yeah everything's just one single like long line of uh, letters right Let's have a look at the actual code. So here's our list and here are our spaced element and as you can see we are not we don't have the show uh, class applied yet because that's going in order for this to animate in this nice well we could do all of this with just pure CSS but I just find this to be easier to do with JavaScript so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all the list elements and then we're gonna set a timeout and then we simply convert all these letters to an array because hey this is just a, an iterable or a traversable depending on what you how you want to call it and then we for each over those grab each letter and the index and then we just set a timeout internally for that which is going to basically just be that all right we toggle the show class of this and we apply a the class of show on each of these and then we just grab the index of each letter and we add a slight delay to each of them so we just apply a bunch of asynchronous timeouts that are going to just run each uh, after well, after each other and that's why it gets this nice flow effect where it's like sequentially falling in instead of everything falling in at the same time and yeah and then we have some basic styles it's like everything's floated to the left and some basic padding and this is where like the translation comes into it so what basically what we do is we start in the position of the list element or the list item in a position of 50 pixels negative so in other words it's slightly elevated and then we have and we have the opacity to zero so it's invisible and then we apply a transition to all of the trend all of the properties that are going to change and when we add the show class which is what the javascript is doing it's just going to flip opacity over to one and set button reset the translation the y offset to zero pixels so that and yeah that's about it really there's, it's a fairly straightforward, but I think that the effect looks kind of nice. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully this was useful to you. Have a great day.